Hello, war boys. Welcome back to Small Screen. Back when Mad Max Fury Road came out in 2015, I'm pretty sure that many moviegoers were as blown away as we were by the movie. The film, which was the fourth movie in the Mad Max franchise, was really something else and introduced us to Charlize Theron's incredible character Furiosa. It was revealed not too long ago that George Miller was going to be making another Mad Max movie, and it would be a prequel. That wasn't all. This upcoming Mad Max prequel was going to focus on Furiosa. If you're familiar with our channel, then you'll know we like to get straight to the point. If you like that about us, please like, subscribe, and crack that notification bell. Right. This next installment of the Mad Max franchise will be about Furiosa's beginnings. Kind of her origin story. However, Charlize Theron won't be in it. <laughs> Honestly, some of us at small screen are really surprised that Theron's not involved in this Furiosa prequel. I want to go back and chroma. She was a big part of why the character worked in the first place, and her performance in Mad Max Fury Road will go down as one of the best action movie performances of all time. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Charlize revealed that she was none too pleased with the decision either. Here's what she told the publication about being left out of the movie. Yeah, it's a little heartbreaking for sure. I really love that character and I'm so grateful that I had a small part in creating her. She will forever be someone that I think of and reflect on fondly. Obviously, I would love to see that story continue, and if he feels like he has to go about it this way, then I trust him in that manner. Director George Miller had said in an interview with the New York Times that he'd been searching for an actress in her 20s to take over the role. Now, as much as we're shocked by Charlize not reprising her character in Furiosa, we couldn't be more excited to see Anya Taylor-Joy cast in the titular role. She's a terrific actor and has crazy range, having been in projects like The New Mutants, The Northmen, Last Night in Soho, The Queen's Gambit, the list goes on. She's a very busy lady. Yeah, I'm very busy. That's not all. We'll also be seeing Chris Hemsworth as the villain. Not much is known yet about his character, but what we can say based on set photos is that he's almost unrecognizable, except for those juicy biceps. You flip too hard, damn it! Lastly, we've got a few plot details we can lay out for you. As opposed to the previous film's three-day race, Furiosa will span something like 15 years of the character's life, from being plucked from her home in the green place of many mothers to falling into the hands of Dementis and his biker horde, and taking part in a great war between Dementis and Immortan Joe. Furiosa is set to hit theaters on May 24th, 2024, which might seem like a long time from now, but in this age of constant production delays, it's refreshing to hear that George Miller is taking his time. What do you make of this news? Are you looking forward to watching Mad Max Furiosa? Do you think Chris Hemsworth is playing Dementis or a young Immortan Joe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, we do read all of them. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and crack that notification bell to keep up with our news and exclusives. Thanks for watching, see you next time!